The first time the N-word was used towards 16-year-old Aiden Chase, a biracial teen, was last November. He thankfully didn't hear it himself, but his teammates did, and they notified the referees. Um, but because the referees didn't hear it, nothing was done. A month later, it happened again against the same team, resulting in a fight on the ice involving players and coaches. Following that incident, an investigation was conducted, which resulted in an eight-game suspension for the player who allegedly used the slur. The player then appealed his uh, suspension, um, and it was on the claims that he did not say it. Uh, so Aiden was asked to be at a hearing and my attendance as well. During the online hearing in January, the N-word was used two more times while a witness described the incident. The first time it was said, it was just like nothing, no one had said anything. And then it was repeated again. That's when my mom had finally like unmuted a mic and decided to say something. Following the hearing, the player's suspension was reduced to five games. Completely unsatisfied with how the board handled the incident and the disciplinary hearing, both Chase and his mother wrote letters to Hockey Quebec, hoping more action would be taken. The reply we got back was still just not sufficient. The Centre for Research Action on Race Relations will now help Chase and his mother file a formal complaint with the Human Rights Commission against Hockey Quebec in hopes the organization will recognize the need for systemic change. Clear policy, mandatory training, more diversity uh, in throughout the, the entire organization and structure, and more importantly, revamp their complaints, handling mechanisms and procedures. Niemi adds it's not an isolated incident. Several families have faced similar interactions involving racial slurs have come forward in recent months. Hopefully, if uh, Hockey Quebec is, shall we say, sensitive and is reasonable, we can come up with some sort of uh, settlement. For Aiden Chase, he hopes other families won't have to face the same discrimination he has. We really want a, a way to support like the future players who might end up going through the similar thing. In an email to Global News, Hockey Quebec would not comment on the specific case, but says all board members and employees have participated in racial sensitivity training implemented last November. Elizabeth Ogalis, Global News, Montreal.